Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Bluetooth mouse keeps disconnecting in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration, even though it's super simple, is to restart your computer. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then click on the power icon and select the restart option. Even though it seems quite banal or simple, make sure to try this because it can fix a lot of issues. Afterwards, you can just check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to update the mouse driver. Now to do this, right click the Windows button, then select device manager from the list of options. In here, in the device manager window, make sure to expand the mice and other pointing devices section and then simply right click on the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now in here, click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best available driver on your PC. You can then close these windows, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. On the other hand, another useful solution is to uninstall the mouse in the device manager. To do this, right click the windows button, then select device manager from the list of options. And the next move in this window, make sure to expand the mice and other pointing devices, then right click on the problematic device and select the uninstall device option. Once again, click on uninstall to confirm your choice and then simply wait a bit until the procedure will be finished. You can then restart your computer and you'll see that windows will try to automatically automatically reinstall these drivers for you. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to disable Windows Power Management. Now to do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options and in here, in the Bluetooth section, make sure to expand it, then right click on the problematic device and select the Properties option. Now what you have to do in here is select the Power Management tab and the last thing you have to do is to untick the box next to allow the computer to turn off this device to save power and press on OK Close this window, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to simply update windows. Maybe it happens that you have a build that can create some issues, so in order to do this, press the windows button, select the settings icon and afterwards click on windows update on the left pane and then on the right side select the check for updates button. Now wait until Windows will try to find the latest updates and then install them automatically. Afterwards, your computer will restart and then after the new update is installed, you can check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix, which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically, DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on, you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.